Hello and welcome back to Panzerkorps final mission of Grand Campaign 40. Just checking if the stream is starting up looking good. So what we have here, let's switch back into the game. And here is the breathing for the Maginot line. One last bastion of French resistance remains standing Herr General. The force of the Maginot line. Despite orders to stand down from their own leaders, the men of the forts have refused to lay down their arms, so you must take them by force. Your objective is to secure as many fortifications as possible, silencing the guns of the Maginot line as you go. The French have absolutely no air support and little armor left, but you should not underestimate the ability of the French force to resist your assaults. Be especially wary of the fortified city of Metz, as well as the guns of Fort Camont and Longuillon. To assist you against these defenses, several heavy railguns have been temporarily placed at your disposal, along with several formations of infantry auxiliaries. The Maginot line was supposed to be the shield of France and the first line of defense. How ironic that they should be the very last to fall in this campaign. Hi game on! So, let's take a look what we have got here. A lot of victory hexes to take, that's already promising because that's a lot of prestige. And yeah, we have boxed them in the center and I really do hope there are not any super guns or super fortifications in here. The normal force and fortifications and force are bad enough. So yeah, a lot of fortifications. And yeah, here are those special ones they mentioned earlier. But we should be able to deal with that. Good to know, we don't have to prepare for an enemy air force. So let's first do the reinforcements. I think we can invest 8 prestige here. Yeah, we will drop below 2 stars, but doesn't matter too much. Save 17 prestige points. And we are very close, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but I will do elite replacements on those that are lagging a little bit behind. Normal. Elite. Normal. Then, let's see. Yeah, I think we can go slightly below two stars. Shouldn't matter too much. We will regain that, ex that experience pretty quickly. We can disband the Char B. This will be elite replacements. Normal, then we've already made it through, almost already made it through. The Air Force is in good enough condition, so I think we can start as is. So we have six pieces of artillery and that's enough. And yeah, I'm considering to drop, honestly, on this one to drop all of them. Let's take a look. We have roughly two areas where we can put down units. So this will be our two Panzer divisions. And it has been too long since I've played Panzer Corps. I feel a little bit out of it. So no opportunities to drop something on the other side. Just checking. So let's start. This one is a little bit 
out of the... Nah, yeah, not exactly. We have to go all the way up there. Well, I have to find my bearings on the map. So this group will have to roughly go up and east. And this group... Yeah, I need... Hi, Lieutenant Joker. I need a little bit of a plan here because pushing right in this, into the center maybe is not the best idea. So I'm thinking about collapsing it from the outside. So going around, going north and east first and then pushing into the center, maybe taking out this first position here. I think that's the bad idea. The other option is to push everything to the center and then go outwards. Oh, I think both methods should work. But let's check the victory condi conditions. We have to do mats and all fortification flags. Okay, we have only 16 turns. That will be a little bit tricky, but let's try. So, Tan's Panzer Division will simply drop down the infantry first and see what we can make happen. Oh, that's technically the 8th Panzer Division. Where's Ulid here? I want Overthranks on him. It looks like there's an open area where we can use the hills to go in. So that's something to do for all the deer. I probably want the pioneer ready. Yeah, I'm not really. I want the artillery to be able to shoot and move in the first turn. So let's do it that way. Put the quicker infantry unit here so that I can advance. And put the tank here so we can probably take them out on the first turn. One recon unit to the center. And I think I want two level bombers here. They could be very useful. I want a Stuka just to have some power against any tanks and suppressed um, enemy targets. The ET-8 will be useful against the big fortifications, so let's drop it as well. Then we'll do the infantry for the 8th division. He can push uh, same problem here. I need a quicker infantry. Not sure if there will be something in this in those forests, but I definitely want to scout that out. So I will drop the scout. The pioneers we will put to the back for the moment. Yeah, there's not enough room around here, so 
Yeah, not much I can do. I will definitely put down some of the tanks. They can still be useful. So we can still deploy five units. Let's see, we definitely want the pioneer. We can use him around here. We want all the infantry. Yeah, it's a little bit crowded. We can always push them forward and this is good against fortifications as well. So I think I will go like that. Maybe I should put down more units in the air, but if there are a ton of enemy anti-aircraft cannons, the Air Force will be more or less useful. So like that, I hope this will work out. So we are 13 minutes in. That's good. And I think I'm happy with the deployment here. Let's do it and let's see what we are facing. Well, only light resistance for now. So we should be able to take them out, but first of all, we want information. Good. That doesn't look too bad. And the map is a little bit... Hi Danny! And the map is a little bit... It takes a little time to get used to it because, yeah, the front line is extremely widespread. And you can get a little bit lost because this is far off. It's not a fortification location, so we don't have to actually take it. This as well, I think. Yeah, maybe this counts. But we will see. So... No units in range. So, who are you? That's only plus defense. This is my scout tank. So, let's see. I'll go forward. Fire shot. and take out one obstacle. I could use all the deer to secure those hills. But I think this is a good first target for the Stuka. If there are anti-aircraft cannons around here, well, so be it. So, but I think for now, I will use all the deer to take out the center location, denies them vision, and we are already very close to mats. And yeah, maybe we still have to attack in all directions at the same time. We'll find out. Let 
let's see. For now, I simply want to go forward. Get a better idea of what's around here. Yeah, it's maybe a waste of ammo. But let's start to dig them out a little bit at least. This way we are protected. Yeah, it will be a slow process and I'm not yet decided how I want to tackle that. But I definitely have to divert some forces um, in this direction. And I'm not sure how aggressive I'm supposed to move forward. But I guess for now I will simply take it slow. Like that I can still get in range of the tank if necessary. So that's good. Then let's take a look here. So the forest seems to be empty. That's already promising. This is empty as well. Couldn't get it, but doesn't matter too much. The city is ours, we have a lot of scouting information. And yeah, the forest is a little bit annoying, but we should be out of vision range. He has a vision range of one, so I will definitely try to move a little bit more aggressive on this side. And yeah, the forest indeed is safe, so yeah, pretty successful for the first turn, but not a lot happened. So let's take a look what we are featuring in terms of auxiliary units. They, yeah, they have some support, so let's move forward. And let's start working on those strong points. Ah, and mines. Great. And I will definitely use those units very aggressively because we can always cheaply reinforce them. And yeah, this might be a good opportunity to simply break through and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to attack mats from this side. It seems 
a bad idea to focus this assault and yeah since we have a railgun that can't, can't do anything on this side let's take this opportunity to destroy things so that was the first turn not a lot happened and this will be interesting because this will determine how aggressive the enemy actually is if there will be counterattacks Oh, actually pretty aggressive, but I can lift this with that. So let's take a look. We'll do it very methodically, step by step. And yeah, this gun has to die first. In the forest here we should be pretty safe almost a kill I think bringing in the Air Force here should do the trick. Let's see. Yeah, too many targets. We'll take it slow for now. Maybe this is completely, yeah, almost completely suppressed. That's good enough. Let's try to get a look. And then let's try to shoot down this tank let's see vision range of two but I definitely want to weaken those units let's move up Let's take a look what's in here. And I don't want to move towards... Yeah, this is... Uh, not too great. kind of want to finish off this Renault without exposing myself to the strong point. Should have moved the artillery a little bit more aggressive, but yeah. Let's go forward. Well, we don't have a lot of luck here. And this 25mm gun on the attack 
won't be able to do a whole lot and all it here can defuse this situation so now we are good because uh, the Panzerjäger Jäger is protected from all sides so this infantry attack can't do anything and next turn we can move up our, infant our artillery protection so we will be fine here so other than that I don't know if those guns actually provide artillery cover we'll find out And there's not a lot we can achieve by moving forward the scout. And we have this location covered pretty good, so let's try to help scouting on this side. So that covers that. Do I want to attack into this? Yeah. Let's not fool around. And thanks game on for the clarification. So... That's good. Next up. Finally, get the 47 millimeter cannon out of the way. Do some scouting. Doesn't seem to be the best defended area up there. But there's a huge gun that might be already a good target for the level bomber just to drain its ammo. And. We'll send our pioneers up so that we can deal with that. And I've learned from my mistakes, so I want to move a little bit more aggressively on this side. I figured there won't be anything in here. Let's risk it. And let's bring forward the big guns. They have a vision range of four. So we have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, like that. So, but that's a tedious process there. Will be a lot to take out. Will provide mass attack bonus and I'm not sure if clearing those mines does any good. But every single unit we can box in is a victory. unit destroyed counts so I think it actually provides us with a little bit of defense here so I don't mind 
keeping the mines, but it's blocking the movement of the railgun. So let's clear them out. And I think we've already destroyed most of their tanks, I hope. Let's see what they can throw at us. It's an interesting map. Okay. Answer fours are not the greatest. Um, so let's see. Yeah, let's not risk more damage. And careful around here so maybe a good idea will be to lure them out getting them away from those big fortresses and in the meantime level bomb them down So... For the moment, my goal is to stabilize, get information where the dangerous guns are. Then work them down one by one. So we will retreat. Because we have to resupply. Move into the trenches. Clear the mines. Just so that we can move around and maybe attract the shot here. So the big guns we hopefully can deal with. That's another infantry unit dealt with and we will clear out those resistance points one by one. So that's good. one of the guns that's good you are no, not any more dangerous not dangerous anymore then let's see grab the city hacks Move forward a little bit just to get a better idea if something still is around. Stay out of firing range of this thing, that's for sure. And this will be another big fortress, I guess. So I'm not sure what to do with the big gun for now. But a 
I'll definitely stay out of range for now and it would be very nice to kill him off but we can't get there don't have anything in range that can actually shoot him down so let's see I think this thing we can easier attack from from the other side Should be. There will be another big gun, I guess. I know this is a normal fortification hex, I think. Nope, it's not, but shouldn't be too dangerous. Yeah, the cavalry unit should get stopped here. So... There's another big gun in here, firing out of mats, so... That's not great. I at the moment don't know how to approach this, so I will not. Maybe it's easier to circumvent them. And yeah. Might be a good idea. To just take a look. fire in there and go back again and we are in the forest here so this shouldn't be too heavy hitting and I don't remember what actually the briefing said about the big guns yeah yeah I have the rail guns I think to deal with them but still a little bit difficult So, uh, Panzer 4 again fails. But if we are able to ambush those smaller things ah uh, yeah the positions were mentioned that's true so this is the big one another big one should be around here and yeah there's no Sariborg Ah, that's already the next one, yeah. So, what remains to be done? I 
I think I will actually try to focus down those. Leave Matt alone for the moment. Maybe try to sneak up, but don't want to take more hits than necessary here. So we'll actually go back. Would have been a good idea to send more units to the outskirts and then actually collapse him, the, collapse him the, collapsing them like I initially planned. But yeah, that will work out this way as well. So that's it. Let's end the turn. And see what they can do. Two damage. No damage. Yeah. Not too bad. So we weathered the storm for the moment. Let's see if we can actually run them out of ammo. That would be most helpful indeed. Done. So first big gun is dealt with. Additional artillery is dealt with. Yeah, not exactly lucky, but we want to keep it down so it can't resupply. I think I will wait for the moment. Yeah, that should do it. Get the pioneers inside and get a look what we are facing here. Yeah, that's actually not great but maybe we can weather the storm here we can always withdraw again but for now i'm most interested to get rid of the big guns But we can't reach it for the moment. So let's see. Artillery down, uh, tank down. Tank down. I think this is quite important to do it. Grab supplies. Let's 
and it will run out of ammo. So we'll see. So now we can outflank them, destroy another four. And hopefully work down those center fortifications. Yeah. This could be another big gun. They didn't mention it, but still could be, so I rather carefully try to outflank them. Um Yeah, the gun is still very useful around here just to suppress them. And Yeah, that's not good enough. But next turn We could be in a position to deal with them. this pioneer. Hopefully this will attract the shot. And maybe we can lure something out. We have almost broken their defenses in here. The next turn. We can hopefully break them. So the question is, if I move... Yeah. I will try to sneak in. If I go forward here, can I still retreat? Uh, it's very doubtful. Okay, there's actually not a lot going on and I hope they will go for the... I hope they will go for the pioneer here. So yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, destroying them here. Is it worth it? This could be a very bad idea for my Panzer IV. But on the other hand, a unit down is a unit down. And this thing can shoot only once. Yeah, we have 
the next the next turn is going to hurt but if we survive this i think we are in a very good position to actually break them let's see what they can do yeah going for the tank i hate it Good. That's good. The thing in mats is actually not that bad. Whew. <laughs> that was close again. Ooh, but we lived. That's all that counts. Now, I think it's time for a first break. But this is actually brutal. Um, so Mua down here is a little bit of a nasty surprise. But at least... I should have reloaded here. But at least it, uh, it's under control, I think. The big fortresses, not counting mats, are already kind of dealt with. So, yeah, actually I'm liking my position here. The most important thing, well, thing was that the Panzer IV lives. I'm thinking about giving it elite replacements here, but the tanks are not the most useful thing in here. So... I might not actually. Once this group of infantry in the center is dealt with, it will be a lot easier and then we can focus down those reinforcements. And the support group actually is doing good progress. We can go in, drain its ammo. Yeah, I'm liking my position. So, thanks for watching for now. I will make a short break and be back. Yeah, in a few minutes. So, see ya. And yeah, we will break them. It's harder than expected. No, it, 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 I expected it to be hard, but we will do it. So, see ya.